You reap what you sow. What? I'm gonna puke. No! I hate Halloween. I love Halloween. Excellent fake blood, Lisa. Add some molasses for better consistency. Hey, Luce, check out our pumpkins. What do you think? <laughs> hmm, more blood here. Few more gashes on this one. Knock out a tooth. Add some ooze to those scabs. Dampen the head wound. Halloween's kind of crazy with a spooky little girl like you, totes. I'm so glad Mom finally let you do your haunted corn maze. As am I. I've been waiting my whole life to do this, not to mention my past lives. Fantastic sign work, Luann. Just the right mixture of corn and gore. Ah, shucks. It's just something I cobbled together from a kernel of an idea. <laughs> oh, yes! A triple! Uh. I expect more support from my pumpkin. <laughs> Get it? Sigh. Thanks for all your hard work, guys. This is going to be the best Halloween ever. I'm so excited. Trust me, she's excited. Next, the season premiere of Vampires of Melancholia. Ah, there he is! Whoa, this place looks sick. <gasps> Literally the cutest actor ever. Didn't you know he was going to be a new character on VOM? Sigh. Tune in next week for more Vampires of Melancholia. This is definitely going to be our new Friday night thing. Lori, me, you, and VOM. <sighs> I have to put a stop to this. Hey guys, now that we're all, um, VOM heads, you have to join me in all of the super fun pre-show rituals. First, you have to look the part with a full vampire makeover. Ew, do we have to look so sickly? Well, it's a really important part of watching the show. But if you're not into it and you'd rather just go back to watching the dreamboat... Don't be ridiculous. Come on, Lenny. It'll be good contouring practice. Look how much their cheekbones pop. <gasps> good point. Next, you have to see the world from a vampire's perspective. Ugh, this is giving me a migraine. Yeah, and I'm getting a headache. <gasps> Wait, is that my missing jelly sandal under the couch? <gasps> and my missing ring! <gasps> and Lucy, I found your creepy dolls. Give me those. We should def do this every week. Sigh. Gloomy morning, everyone. I have an announcement. I, too, would like to be considered for president. Yeah. After all, who stays late to make sure the dissecting forceps are put away? And who thought of our group motto, keep calm and embalm? And who carried our team in the grave digging competition? You did. You did. dug an eight-footer. Yes, Lucy, you've made a good case for yourself. How about this? After school, the club will meet, and we shall put it to a vote. <gasps> So what'd Bertrand say? We're going to vote tonight. Haiku and I each have three votes, which means Bertrand will have to break the tie. And of course he'll choose Haiku again. Too bad you don't have one more member who can vote for you. I walked right into this one, didn't I? The results are in, and well, it appears we have a tie. As sitting president, it is my duty to choose the- Is this the Mortician's Club? <gasps> Lincoln? What in Hades' handbag are you doing here? Oh, well, I was hoping to join you guys. I've really taken an interest in death lately. Ah, oh, that snake! <sighs> really, Lucy? You're normie, brother. Why, I'm as surprised as you are. Very well. As a new member, I suppose he may vote in our current... Uh... I vote for my sister. Thanks. <gasps> oh, wow. Guess that means I won. I have a new deck of fortune telling cards. I could give everybody readings. It's Madam Lucy. Ooh. Lori, you will go on a long trip. Ooh, maybe Bobby's taking me to Italy. He is working at that pizza place. 
Lola, the universe will open doors for you. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Luann, you will soon be blown away. How fortunate! <laughs> <laughs> ah, good one! Ow! Lisa, you will make an amazing scientific discovery before entering the park today. Last but not least, Lincoln. <gasps> what? What does it say? So, uh, who wants to play football? Lucy, come on, tell me! Fine. Your day at the park will end in tragedy. Oh, you're not worried about Lucy's silly predictions, are you? That was literally embarrassing. It was also literally your fortune. You will go on a long trip. <laughs> Let me know if you get tired, Dad. Good one, honey. That's why you're my heir. Fortune number two. You will soon be blown away. Welcome to Grand Venture State Park. Let's go, people. Move it, move it. Lincoln, why are you pushing us? If we can get in the park before Lisa makes any discoveries, that means Lucy's predictions are bogus and I'm home free. Yes, we made it. Science one, medieval hocus pocus, zero. Right, Lise? Lise? Lisa, hurry up, get in here. Sorry, I had to finish that chapter. <gasps> Sweet mother of scientific discoveries! It's an owl with deer antlers! Ah! Uh... Lucy, I concede that your psychic predictions are uncannily accurate. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm still breaking it in. My fellow Goths, there's no way we're going to the beach. It has everything we're against. Sunshine, <laughs> sand, <laughs> and sports. <laughs> but this field trip is mandatory. I've got an idea. Do, 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 do. What? Cheryl, are you seeing the storm? We can't go to the beach now. Sugar, you sound crazier than a cat on a canoe. It's working. Quick, corpse mode. <clears throat> Never mind, Cheryl. Must have been a surprise shower. Don't despair. I still have one more idea for how we can stop this. All right, spookies, let's go. <laughs> Ready, guys? Just like we practiced. Ah! 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 Come back with my hair! Guess there's no one to drive us to the beach now. Sigh. Field trip canceled. <gasps> I used to drive an 18-wheeler. Get back here, you flying rat! Huh? Cheryl! And the nightmare begins. <laughs> I think I found your ghost. Tis a time to putt, a time to play through. Dear spirit of Shanks, we summon thee back to fairway you. Tis a time to putt, a time to play through. Dear spirit of Shanks, we summon thee back to fairway you. <gasps> Look, is that Shanks? <laughs> According to the yearbook, Shanks was part of a campus theater group called the Yips. I even had Dante learn his favorite song. Now grab your cane, Lori. If we party like it's 1900, Shanks will surely show up. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun. Huh? This is a good sign. Keep dancing. It must be working. To us, Shanks. Boris, <laughs> 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 that spirit. How about you? Clearly, we've summoned the wrong kind of spirit. Ready, break! Hit <laughs> <laughs>
What was that? Is everyone okay? You know, Lucy, I don't actually believe you can see my future in that cheap hunk of glass. Gasp. I see a pageant. <gasps> is it Little Miss Sugarbeet? Who wins? Tell me. <laughs> and the winner is... Lindsay Sweetwater. No! Why would you tell me that? Just another great perk of being in the Mortician's Club. Having your fortune told every week. <sighs> Good thing fortunes can be changed. They can? How? I just read the new issue of Modern Enchantress. It has a stage fright spell that might come in handy on a certain Miss Sweetwater. Tell me more, sweetie. I might just be Mortician's Club material after all. Time to dial it up to scare level two. It's just our weekly spin class. Oh, good. I've been meaning to work on my glutes. <laughs> Not that kind of spinning. This is Deborah. She likes to cuddle. Get that thing away from me! Boris, <laughs> my seven foot angel! Hmm, <sighs> no more kid stuff. Time for scare level 11. Ready, everyone? I have a feeling the ghosts will be very active this evening. Spirits, give us a sign you are amongst us. <laughs> Our spirit must be in that crypt. <laughs> I'll go inside and coax it out. Quick fangs, costume me. Lola loud. I must devour your youthful lessons. <laughs> maze after all. Let's get him! I think we're losing them. Oh, wait. We don't want to lose them. Let's just jog in place. I'm okay. Go! They're ours now. The crimes you have committed this night shan't go unpunished. You reap what you sow. What? I'm gonna puke. We're not coming back here again. You got tricked. That was awesome! That was, that was so awesome! Thanks, guys. I think we taught those two big stinkers a lesson. No. Thank you for bringing them here. You totally made my Halloween. I've never been happier. Trust me, she's happy. Hopefully, next year, your maze will have more than two customers. Looks like we won't have to wait till next year. Places, everyone. I so enjoy our nightly strolls, Fangs. Guys, this looks so good. We should literally be interior designers. Hey, guys. <gasps> Why are you painting the bathroom my least favorite color? Uh, duh. We all voted on it at a sibling meeting, remember? Sigh. Well, I wasn't there. But of course, as usual, no one noticed. Oh, come on. Exaggerate much? Sorry, I didn't notice you. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> Ancient Book of Spells. Whoa. Hmm, if I can't get through to my siblings, maybe a little magic will. 
Round about the bedrooms go, on their pillows spell dust throw. By sunrise they will have no choice but to listen to my voice. Night night, great grandma Harriet. Yawn. Ugh, Lynn. This spell cannot work fast enough. Hey guys. Yes. <laughs> Luann, I've been chasing you for six blocks. I have amazing news. My poetry teacher is hosting a poetry festival and has asked me to be a part of it. That is amazing! Congrats! It's going to be at the Royal Woods Theater. <laughs> you don't say! No kid has ever performed on stage there before. You don't say. It's just so happy for you. It's just so, so great how you didn't have to struggle too long to make your dreams come true. So, so great. I can't breathe. <sighs> Thank you so much, Luann. I'm really nervous about my reading tomorrow. Do vocal exercises help? I know one called the Endless Moan. Sure, do that. That's great. Which shade yeah. of black do you think is better for the reading? Eternal Sadness or Vacant Tomb? I don't know. Eternal Tomb. I read that making good eye contact with the audience is important. How's this? Is this better? How about this? We did it, Fangs. What the heck, Lucy? Chicken nuggets? Gads. Lincoln, what happened? I told you explicitly to get popcorn. The microwave in the teacher's lounge was on the fritz, so I got these instead. And it didn't occur to you that serving chicken at a rooster's funeral might be inappropriate? Okay, now I see it. <clears throat> I'd just like to say a few words before we get started, if I may. <gasps> Every morning we... Ah! I'm okay! Lincoln, I thought you reserved this field. You said you were going to. <gasps> <gasps> Sigh, this is bad, but I can still turn this around. My last gift to Ricky will be to send him to the heavens in this. <gasps> Finally, he will get to experience the joy of flight. A trebuchet! Uh, what? Time to go home, sweet prince. Fare thee well. No, 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 no. Uh. Wait, don't go. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. This funeral was a complete disaster, and it's all my fault. It's obvious I'm not the amazing president I thought I'd be. But honestly, the worst part is, Ricky deserved a better goodbye than this. Sniff. You know, Lucy, maybe it's not too late to save this funeral. Really? A president can't do everything herself. We are a club, after all. Listen to all those people. He must be inside turning more vampires. Well, we're next. Future vampires, descend. There he is. Fight us! Turn us into vampires! We beg thee. Cut! Can you get off my casting director, please? But he's a vampire. Ugh, okay. I know I'm pale and I work for Vampires of Melancholia, but can you spare me the wisecracks? Wait a minute. You guys are filming Vampires of Melancholia? Yes, and you kids are ruining my big break. Okay, that's enough. It's time for you meddling brats to go. You're in the shot. Sigh. Wait. Huh? Huh? These kids are the gloomiest, creepiest, weirdest creatures I've ever seen. What they are you kind? Even their grandpa is creepy. Oh, <laughs> Boris is only nine, but still very flattered. They'd be great for the season premiere. Wow, could this possibly get any better? This black cherry juice is simply smashing top notch. Edwin! 
Oh, cheerio, spooky children. <laughs> he called us spooky. Watch the shoes, please. <laughs> Scene 40, take one. Rescued from your mortal state, my creatures of the night, rise and embrace your newfound vampire power. <laughs> oh, huh? Yes. My minions, have you shed your earthly attachments? Our human life is no more. Yo. Uh. Thanks for helping us, like, not go extinct. It was our displeasure. 